Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna do a little prediction for Arnold Classic Open Division. So this right here was the first official list. Recently we found out that Cedric McMillan is out and shortly after this list was uploaded we had an addition of Nick Walker and Rolly Winkler. So right now the Arnold Classic Open Bodybuilding list consists of these bodybuilders. Lionel Biecki, William Bonek, Max Charles, Sing Chul Lee, Mohamed Elaman, Steve Kuklo, Hassan Mustafa, Sergio Oliva Jr., Justin Rodriguez, Ian Valier, Akim Williams, Nick Walker and Rolly Winkler. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna give you my top 6, but before I start with the top 6, I'm gonna tell you who I have outside of top 6, because it's very important, and that's, that's gonna be disappointing for you to hear, but I think Rolly Winkler is not gonna crack the top 6, actually, I don't even have him in my top 7, so 7 spot, I would go with Justin Rodriguez, actually. And I would put Rolly Winkler in 8, because this is not the best year for Rolly. He's 44, so the age is probably taking toll on his body. Yeah, his Chicago Pro Edition was horrible and he did improve a lot for Spain. So judging by that, by the improvement rate, maybe he's going to be able to improve a lot more for Arnold Classic. But I still think the other guys have much of a bigger advantage. They don't have to grow into the show. They just have to lean down and then keep the fullness. Rolly has to grow. He has to diet at the same time. I don't know if that's going to work out for him. And I think the other guys are just surpassing him. I think it is time for a new wave of bodybuilders. I think the older guys are fading away, especially Rolly Winkler. So I don't have Rolly Winkler even in my top 7. I think in this tough, tough call out, I think Rolly is going to end up in 8. And 7. I believe is going to be Justin Rodriguez. I think he's getting much, much better day by day. I think he's going to take out Rolly this time around. I think he's going to be bigger, fuller, and more conditioned. Now let's get to the top six. So in six spot, I have Sergio Oliva Jr. So the way I'm going to go about this list is the way I feel is the most realistic. I'm not going to go some controversial, interesting way, you know, saying that somebody like, uh, I don't know, uh, Lionel Biaki is going to win. <laughs> I don't know that. Maybe it can happen. He has the potential. But I'm going to go with their previous performance. I'm going to go with uh, the way I would bet. Maybe it's not going to be the most fun way, but I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you what I honestly think. And I think Sergio Oliva is going to be top six which is worse placement than last year, but with an addition of some really good bodybuilders who made a lot of progress during these past few years, I think it's gonna be hard for him to crack the top 5 or higher, so I think top 6 is pretty safe bet. I think Sergio did improve, and yes, he does look much better when he's on the stage next to the other guys because of his height, but I still feel like he has some gaps in his physique, he can round up his physique a little bit more, he does tend to look a little bit stringy in some poses, so I think for a guy of his frame he needs to be bigger than he is, which is really hard to do at that height, and also I mean it's structure, it's his structure that is kind of limiting him, so I don't see him do better than top 6 this year. Fifth spot, I actually have Nick Walker. Now, a lot of guys are considering him as a winner of Arnold Classic, which, again, can happen. Hassan Mustafa can come peeled to the bone and uh, he can win. But what are the chances of that happening? Very slim, slim to none. And Nick Walker, we haven't really seen him against any of these guys in this lineup, except for Justin Rodriguez. We know that he was better than him and they were both pretty much on. So if Nick improves a little bit, which I think he will, he will be a little bit better, uh, and also I think Justin is going to be better, I still don't see Justin beating Nick Walker, but I don't really see Nick Walker doing much better than this because of his structure, I think his legs are a little bit short, they lack sweep, his waist is a little bit too wide, his overall too blocky, and for Arnold Classic I think you need to have a little bit better structure than that, I think Arnold Classic is a little bit more about aesthetics, about uh, streamlined physiques, so I think Nick Walker is not exactly the best fit for this competition, though fifth spot at a first Arnold Classic for him, I think it's gonna be amazing. Because in fourth spot, I have top six Olympian, guys, top six Olympian, Akeem Williams. Yeah, I know Nick Walker is great and all, but he turned pro like last year. 
Last year he turned pro, he had a pro debut, and now, uh, let's say this New York Pro was his official, pro, real pro debut, because last year he competed like uh, two weeks after he turned pro, so at his real pro debut he won a show, which is amazing result, but Akim Williams has been competing for a long, long time, he improved a lot, he's one of the most massive bodybuilders, Akim is one of the, if not the biggest bodybuilder in this lineup, so I think Akim is going to end up in fourth, and why not third, why not second, why not a win for Akim if he's really on? Well, because I think the other guys improved more. I feel like these two guys made significant improvements from the last time we saw them, so I think they are going to surpass Akim Williams this year. Now, last year Ian was 7th at the Mr. Olympia and Akim was 6th. Now, I think Ian is going to place higher than Akim, but not higher than Steve. I think Ian is going to be 3rd this year now we know that ian is better with every show he does he was great at tampa but he was much better at texas how much better than that can he really be at arnold classic and when does this progression stops i have no idea i don't think he can go forever like that so i think at some point he will hit a plateau that might be texas pro i think texas is like the maximum that he can be at this point this year and it's gonna be amazing if he replicates that so i think if he does that and i think he will maybe he's going to be like one percent better than that maybe maybe the same maybe worse still i do have him in third spot and i think steve kuklo i just feel like his structure is better than that of ian valier i think he's just more compact more complete he doesn't have any gaps in his physique, like he has great calves, he doesn't have any weird looking poses like Ian's abs and thighs, you know, stuff like that, like back double bicep, back lat spread, he's overall more complete. The only reason he lost that Texas Pro to Ian was because Ian was ripped to shreds. These guys are very close as far as the, the frame and the muscle size they're carrying, very very close. But I feel like Steve's structure, symmetry, proportions, lines are just more, are just superior to those of Ian Valier. And I think he has bigger frame in terms of height, you know, he is a bigger guy, he takes more space. And also, Ian won two shows this year. Back to back, back to back guys, that's an insane accomplishment. So I'm pretty sure he feels extremely satisfied already. Steve Kuklo lost his show in his town in texas and he didn't get to qualify for the mr olympia his only chance is winning the arnold classic so imagine how hungry he is right now and he was fourth last year he was fifth at a mr olympia 2019 so this guy is a great great bodybuilder and it's gonna be all about how much he progresses from that texas pro how much more conditioned he comes and overall how much he can improve in that short time but i think he's going to give it 110 percent and i think he's going to improve enough to place higher than ian and to be the first runner-up to william bonek i just can't see steve beat william bonek i don't see any of these guys beating william bonek to be quite honest i think william bonek is the top tier bodybuilder so we have last year we had big Remy. Phil Heath, Brandon Curry, Hardy Chopin and William Bonek and I think these five guys are a different echelon of bodybuilders I think these guys are the top tier everybody else including Akeem Williams is below them these guys are just on a whole different level structure wise, muscularity wise, conditioning wise, maturity wise you name it, I think these guys are just still unbeatable by the other guys at this point now, we know that William Bonek didn't really have great couple of years lately, he was kind of fading away slowly, but this year he had an off season, the year before he had a leg injury, so that's why he wasn't at his best. Now, he also teamed up with the Camel crew, with the Kuwait crew, he is coached by Abdullah, so he has a great coach, he has a great strategy, he had a year to relax, to re let his body refresh, and I do have him improved. I think he's going to look better than he looked at the Mr. Olympia, where he also looked pretty amazing. So I think it's pretty safe to say that William Bonek is going to defend his title and win his third 
Arnold Classic. I think this is the safest way to go about this. I think it is the most realistic. I could have went with some kind of controversial way about it, but that's not me, guys, you know me, I'm being realistic. Sometimes I'm off, sometimes I'm right, but I always say what I have on my mind, in my heart, what I believe in, and this is the way I think it's going to be. I thought about this, I thought this through, and I don't see it happening any other way. Maybe a spot here and there can change, but I think this is pretty much it. Also, if some of the other guys that I didn't even mention or that are not cracking my top 6 come super peeled like uh, Lionel Biaki or Hassan Mustafa or Rolly improves and comes at his very very best then that can be a huge upset and these guys can like win the show but that's not super likely to happen so I'm not gonna even say that. Anyways guys, that's gonna be my prediction for this year's Arnold Classic 2021. If you guys agree with me, like the video, tell me that you agree. If you disagree, don't just dislike the video and walk away or leave a negative comment. Tell me your prediction and tell me why do you think your prediction is better than mine. Let's discuss this, let's have a debate right now in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, if you enjoyed this one, like it, and for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys once again, all the best and bye bye.